Welcome back everyone to Caleb, the Video Maker 2. In this video, we are going to explore the char data type. So let's create a new file. We'll just name this char.c. And you know, we'll do the standard include us. Standard IO. <laughs> All right, so how do we make a character variable? Well, we just say char and then we give it a name. And then we can give it a value. Now remember, when we're working with characters, we always want to use single quotes. So something needs to go inside of those single quotes. But what? Let's use capital A just so we can become familiar with one character. This is the one we used in the previous video, and we learned that the integer value for A is actually 65. And I want to prove that to you in this video so you know I'm not just making something up. <laughs> Let's learn to print characters to the screen. We are still going to use the printf function, but we are going to learn a new conversion character. Specifically, it is percent %c. And then we'll go to a new line, and what are we going to print? We're going to print x. That's a particularly confusing variable name because it's a character itself. I want to make sure there's not confusion. I don't want people to think, hey, I'm going to print the value x. Instead, I'm going to rename this to something else. My character or my char. Now it's a little less confusing. <laughs> now let's run this, make sure it works. And you can see it outputs the character A, just like we wanted. Now, how do we actually take input of characters? Well, I'm gonna show you that. Let's go back to our code. And in here, we're going to declare the char variable, but we're not going to initialize it. And now we are going to use the scanf function. And in here, we are going to pass in percent %c, just like you would expect. The variable we are going to put it in is with the address of operator, my char. Let's try this. When we output it, it'll ask us for a character, even though it doesn't say anything. We never put a prompt, but let's try R. And it outputs R, so it's working. Well, what else do you need to know? Well, to be honest, there's really not a whole lot to it. There is one thing I wanted to share with you guys, and that is the ASCII table. This is the ASCII value for every single character that we can use inside of ASCII and inside of the console. You can see here, this is capital A, and it has the value of 65. As you can see, the decimal version is 65 right there. Now, if you wanted to classify these things, because I know some of you guys love classifications, you could say that the first section of characters are called control characters. Only a few of those are going to be useful for us. I'd also group the last one in here. These codes were for controlling devices, such as printers. They're really not used so much today. There are a couple that'll be useful for us. For example, tab, the null character, and I'm sure there's a couple others we might run into. The rest of them, these are considered the printable characters. These are the ones we could actually see. The second table down here is called the extended ASCII codes. That's what I was explaining in the last video, where in some situations, that most significant bit will be used and this will allow us to have more options. In the next video, we are going to create a program that will actually convert between integers and ASCII. By the end of that video, you'll see how easy it is to work with ASCII. So be sure to check that out, guys. If you've liked this video, please click subscribe, click like, and check out the next video. Thanks, guys, and I'll see you then.